Hi class, today is lesson 2-2. Let's look at the purpose. The purpose is to learn how to translate between words and math. And if we think about it, math is its own separate language. It's known internationally. It's got its own symbols. It's got its own way of communicating through numbers. And we're going to do that uh, translation into English. There's no vocabulary for today. But there is a table that I want you to go ahead and copy down. So at, at some point, I want you to go ahead and uh, stop this video and, and copy this table down because it's, it's a pretty important um, table in understanding what you need to do um, when a problem asks you to come up with something mathematically. So I'm going to give you a, a little bit time here by you stopping the video um, to copy this down. And I'm going to take this step by step for you column by column. First of all, when a problem asks us uh, to combine some numbers together or put together some numbers, we need to add. That's a key to us adding um, in order to get to the answer of the problem. A problem, however, may ask us to find out how much more or how much less um, another number is. In that case, we need to subtract. When we're dealing with groups, and we're putting together groups that have equal parts of them, we need to multiply. And then on the other end, when we're talking about these groups and trying to separate them into equal groups, we're talking about division here. You'll have a better understanding of it as we go to the next slide <clears throat> and look at our examples. Here, the first example reads, the Nile River is the world's longest river. Let N stand for the length of miles of the Nile. The Amazon River is 4,000 miles long. Write an expression to show how much longer the Nile is in the Amazon. Here we have how much longer the Nile is, and we're going to refer back to that here um, pretty soon. Let's go with the first um, data that they give us, and they indicate that the Nile, they want us to treat um, as the letter N. This would be the length of the Nile. We're going to have N represent that, the variable N. Then <clears throat> they talk about the Amazon. And they talk about the Amazon being 4,000 miles long. Since the Nile is the longer one, longer river, the longest actually in the world, we're going to have to find out how much longer it is in the Amazon. That's the question. How much longer is it? And if we look at our table that you just drew on the previous slide, how much longer, how much more of the Nile is there in length? What we simply do is subtract. So we take the Nile, which is the longer, <clears throat> the bigger number, whatever that is. We subtract 4,000, which is the length of the Amazon. Um, and that will give us an answer to to the difference, how much longer the Nile is than the Amazon. All right, now do we need to solve for um, the letter N? No, we just need to write down the expression. Next, we've got uh, another problem. Here it says, let S represent the number of senators that each of the 50 states has in the U.S. Senate. Write an expression for the total number of senators. So here we have 50 states. I'm going to write down states. And we know there's 50 of them. And they want to represent the senators that represent uh, each state to be the variable S. Now, we don't know how many senators. Well, I do. Maybe you do, too. How many senators represent each state? But we're going to take these as a group. How many groups of senators, in other words, how many senators from each state can we figure out will uh, represent um, uh, the entire nation? Let's look at what they're asking once again. It says, write an expression for the total number of senators. Well, the only way we're going to find the total number of senators is that we've got to find out how many senators 
are allotted by each state and multiply that by 50. We are looking at groups, put together groups of equal parts. The groups being the states and the equal parts being the senators. So what we are going to say is 50 number of states times the number of senators will give us that total number. Well, we don't know how many senators there are. Actually, there are just two senators per state. But if we didn't know how many there were, we could just make this expression and end up in the end uh, representing how many total senators there would be in the U.S. Senate. I'm going to go through this rather quickly because I'm going to give you a copy of this at, um, at school, so don't copy this. This is a great table, though, to help translate between, um, um, between words in English. If you see a numerical expression like this, 37 plus 28, or x plus 28 as an algebraic expression, there's different ways in which you can say that. That's all this table is saying. You can say 28 plus 37. We can say uh, 28 added to 37. We can say the sum of 37 and 28. Or we can say 28 more than 37. So that's how we could say those things. And essentially, the words added plus sum more than are also included down here. We could say 28 added to x, x plus 28, the sum of x and 28, or 28 more than x. Subtraction. How can we translate 90 uh, minus 12 or k minus 12? Well, <clears throat> I just said one way, 90 minus 12 or k minus 12, but there are other ways. 12 subtracted from 90, the difference of 90 and 12, 12 less than 90, or take away 12 from 90. So there's different ways in which we can interpret this. We go to multiplication, and let's look down here. We can say 8 times w and it can be written 8.w, or in parentheses, 8, parentheses, w, or just plain 8w. We can say 8 times w. We can say w multiplied by 8, the product of 8 and w, or we can say 8 groups of w, because that's what uh, multiplying is. It's about multiple groups of equal parts, isn't it? Division. There's actually only two ways we can interpret a division sign. You'll either see it with a division a symbol or that fraction bar. Uh, here we can say 32, 327 divided by 3, or the quotient, which means the answer to a division problem of 327 and 3. All right. You'll see that more tomorrow, but that helps you translate numbers into actual English um, English phrases. Here's a couple more examples <clears throat> of how we're going to use that. Each says, write each phrase as a numerical or algebraic expression. 287 plus 932. Well, it's pretty easy. That's 287. That plus indicates addition, plus 932. Answered. Easy. B divided by 14. Well, that's easy, too. We can write it either as B divided by 14 this way, or we can write it as um, B over 14, which means the same thing, B divided by 14. Here, we're going to do the opposite. This time, it's asking us to write two phrases for each expression. And you'll be able to refer to that table in your textbook um, during the lesson in class. I'm going to help us understand what this means. We have an A, a minus sign, and 45. So we can say A minus 45. Or we can say A subtract 45. Or we can say, and I like this one, the difference of A and 45. Next we have two parentheses with numbers right up against each other or the parentheses right up against each other and um, we're talking multiplication here so we can say 34 multiplied by 
7. Or we can simply say 34 times 7. Okay. Next, we have complete the problem. Here it says, tell how to write each of the following phrases in numerical or algebraic expression. 75 less than 1,023. You may have to refer back in the video to what does it mean less than? What um, operation sign do I use? And then it says um, you need to go ahead and translate the product of 125 and Z. You might have to go ahead and once again refer back to uh, that table that I showed you. Uh, again, you do not need to copy it. I'll provide an, a copy of it for you in class. And then the second question is give two examples of what this is expressed with words. All right, see you in class.